So we're going to get started here with tonight's winner circle call. The topic of the night is perception. It's going to be a short and sweet call. Nothing too crazy. It should not take very long. So on the first slide here, we're big on sports. I love sports. I talk about sports all the time. So the topic here is how do you play? And this is probably something that you've heard before. I love these first two lines. And it's winners play to win and losers play not to lose. And just think, think about that for a second. The people that are the biggest champions in the world, do they love to win more or do they hate to lose more? And there's no exact answer for that. Everyone's going to have uh, their own different perspective on that. Um, personally, I love to win. You know, I hate to lose too, but I think I love to win more. And that's something that you're going to have your own perception on and your own mentality about. But, uh, you know, the bottom line here, those first two lines, winners play to win, losers play not to lose. So we've got offense and we've got defense, right? It's kind of kind of goes hand in hand with what's going on there. And I, I just want you to think about it. What's more important when it comes to sports, obviously, is what we think of with offense and defense but also just in life in general. So imagine a game of basketball, okay? The beginning of the half, at the beginning of the game, they do a jump ball. Imagine two teams whose strategy is strictly defense, okay? The game's about to start, ref blows the whistle, throws the ball up, and both teams back up ready to get on defense, and they're the best defense out there. Ref throws the ball up. Nobody goes to attack the ball, okay? That is a very, very silly image to even picture, yet some people play their entire life on defense. And it's just you, you can't win only playing defense. In terms of sports, very important, but offense – is what scores points. Offense is more necessary to win. You cannot win without scoring. And if you're constantly playing defense, you're not scoring. Now, I know there's going to be some people where, you know, football and interceptions, you could run it back. I get that, right? That's, that's kind of out of context for this specific meeting. And the point is, is that you've got to be on the offense to score. You have to score to win. Hence, you cannot always be on defense. You've got to be on the attack and trying to put points on the board or scoring in whatever context that is to win. So in life, we have to be on the attack as well. We have to be on offense moving towards what it is that we want. You cannot. It is impossible to achieve your goals, your dreams, your life purpose, whatever you want to call it, constantly on defense. Now, the people that get really well off and the people that get very, very far ahead, let's just talk finances here, okay? When somebody's first getting started, they've got to be on offense. They've got to get ahead. They've got to build their nest egg. They've got to make their investments. They get their cash flow up, whatever it is. Then later on, they can start to somewhat play some defense. But if they go too far on defense, then they can lose sight of growth. And if you're not growing, you're dying, as they say. So offense, no matter where you're at in life, is very, very important. And I want you to think about somebody who's very, very well off now. Somebody that wasn't uh, born into the world with a silver spoon, as they say, that had to go out and earn the, the level of greatness, of winning a championship, of whatever category we want to label it, someone that had to earn it. And they didn't get there any other way other than offense and working hard and going on the attack. When you go to somebody, like we'll just use Mark Cuban as an example, if you go back to his roots to the beginning, he was 100% offense. He wasn't playing defense. He didn't have anything to defend at first. He was on offense. He had very big visions, very big goals, wanted greatness. 
And if you go back to the roots, it is offense. It is going on the attack. It's all out going to score, 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 and win the game. And they, they're relentless about it. It's not till later on that they start playing some defense. Okay, they play offense. That's how they got there. Perception is everything. I'm going to put these first two up here in a row. And this is something just for you to think about. And there's no wrong answer to this. So what is success to you and what's most important to you? All right, for, for some people, success has nothing to do with monetary value. For some people, success definitely is related to monetary value. There's things that are important to different people. Some people, it's all about family. Some people, it's all about health. Some people, it's all about money. Some people, it's all about what can you do for others? What can you do for your community? There's no right or wrong answer to this. But with perception, it's up to you. There, you get to choose what's most important to you. And there's so many people with different views. And again, there's no wrong answer. But in order to achieve greatness, in order to get to another level, you need to be very, very clear on what is success to you and what is the most important. You need to be very clear on that. Not, not saying this in the same context of goals, but to an extent, yes, because if you don't know what that, the, the big vision of success is, if you don't know what are the top two or three top priorities to you, right? You can't say that you're going to be a success, but the things are the most important to you and not achieve them, right? That they, they kind of contradict each other. And one of the things for the average person out there, even if they do know what success is to them and they know what their top priorities in life are, it's hard to accomplish those because they don't have a lot of time, right? We, we live in a monetary world where um, you, you have to have money to survive, right? You have food, you have rent, you have whatever the basics, basic necessities are in life. So the average person spends the majority of their time working, which doesn't leave a lot of time left over for them to work on their life, for what's success to them, for what's important to them, because you spend most of your time working for money. Whole nother category, but I, I bring this up because this, to me, is what makes Easy Pay, is what makes the industry that we're in so powerful. Because for the people out there that understand, I got to be on offense, not defense, right? I'm walking into this door to close the deal, not for him to not kick me out, <laughs> if, if, if you will. And what's awesome is if you do play offense, if you can figure out how to score, if you can rack your score up, which AKA is financial freedom, what that does for you is it allows you time. Okay, residual income, once you get to a comfortable level and you're, you're paying your bills with residual income, it, it no longer is about money. It, it now is about time that you can use to focus on whatever it is that's important to you, to focus on what makes you better from your uh, perspective, through your paradigm, right? So maybe it's very important to you. Uh, health and fitness is very, very important to you. And I think that none of us can debate that as we get older and as we all get to the later years in our life, no matter who we are, we're going to realize that that's, that's pretty dang important. And you, you look back, did you have the time to focus on that if that is one of your top priorities? If parenting and, and family and relationships is at the top of the list of important for you, but you're working 60 hours a week, do you have the time necessary for you to really engage and do the things you need to do to make parenting a top priority, to be at the sporting events, at the recitals, at the uh, teacher parent conferences, things like that, right? You, you understand what I'm saying? And it's, that's what easy pay and residual income can do. It, it's, it's the time that it opens up for you, to, for you to focus on what you perceive as success and what you perceive as the most important things to you. It's amazing to me that 
you know, there's so many people in this country, so many people around the world, and we all have our own perception on things. The exact same event could happen, and you're going to have multiple, not just two, you're going to have multiple different perspectives on what that actually meant. Was that good? Was that bad? Right? And then there's obviously some in the middle. There's so many different examples of that. I, the, the, top one that <laughs> the top one that comes is, you know, there, there's, with all the political stuff going on, this is, this is why it's always split. Like presidential elections are never like 80%, 20%. You know, they're always somewhere, somewhere within the, the realm of, you know, the 50% line, you know, within reason. And it's because there's, there's just different perceptions and everyone – is never going to have the same opinion or perceive something the same. We see it all the time. There's a specific event that happens, and there's one category of society that's praising it. They love it. They think it's the best thing ever. And then there's another part that thinks it's the worst decision. How could anyone support that? How could anyone go along with that, right? We see that stuff nowadays all the time, and that's perception. And we all are going to have a different one. So – in terms of money, how much is a lot to you per year? If you're working a normal J-O-B, what's a lot to you? It, and this one really blows my mind because to a lot of people, uh, $100,000 is, is a big number. Like that's, that's a huge accomplishment and that, that is a good amount of money. And again, there's no right or wrong on these, but you go ask somebody with, with a hun- that makes $100,000 and you know it's no longer he no longer perceives it as that massive amount as somebody who maybe makes 20 right now maybe a million dollars is a lot to him well so now you're making a million dollars a year we'll go talk to somebody like grant cardone right he just has a different perception and to him what's a lot of money a million dollars no longer is a lot of money and then if you're grant cardone you know, maybe uh, the next level up, how much money Grant Cardone makes compared to, uh, what's his name, Damon John, right? Guy's a billionaire. Grant Cardone's a millionaire. What The other one's a billionaire, right? So, so, so we all have this perception, specifically on money, what, what's a lot of money. And then same question on residuals. Same theory on residuals on what a lot is to you. And the reason why I want you to think about these is because the way that you perceive the world, the way that you perceive what success is, what's important. Um, We're a company. So we, we generally bring up monetary, you know, money in some way, shape or form on the call. And, and the way that you perceive what's a lot, what's good, what's bad, what's important, what's a failure, what's a success. There's no right or wrong answer because we all have the right to have our own perception, but the way that you perceive things is a direct impact on the actions that you're going to take you know we're on offense you want to win in life you don't score on defense you win on offense and the way that you perceive things it's going to affect the actions you take and the offense that you're playing and it's going to affect the results that you get and this one is 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 critical here because there's if you're contradicting your perception and what your perfect painting of your life is, it's impossible to accomplish it. There's obviously a major conflict in what you're saying is success to you, what you're saying is important to you, yet your perception doesn't match it. And the reason why perception is so important is because the way you perceive things is going to determine how you think and how you act and the actions that you take, right? So if you have this painting of your life and you've labeled success and what's important a certain way, but your perception contradicts it, then your actions aren't going to move you towards the perfect painting of your life. Pretty simple. I told you this is going to be a short and simple call on perceptions. Pretty basic stuff to understand there. So the final overview here, nice and short call. You can't win without scoring. There is not a sport out there that is solely defense. Okay? I know a couple people got on here a couple minutes after we started, and I just want to say it again. 
imagine you go to an NBA basketball game or college basketball game, a basketball game at all, and you have two teams that are solely defense. That's what they do. We're defense. They go to start the game. The referee throws the ball up, and both teams back off the ball and get into a defensive position. The ball is going to go in the air. It's going to come down. It's going to roll around. And you have two teams sitting there waiting to play defense, okay? You can't win only playing defense. Offense scores. And in life, you got to figure out what that painting, the perfect painting of your life is. What's your perception of what success is and what's important? And get on offense. You have to get on offense. You have to score to win. There's no wrong answer to perception, right? That's why there's debates. There will always be, be debates. Society's never going to 100% be on the same page. If we did that, that obviously is real bad. But it's in the eye of the beholder. You get to choose what's important. It is impossible to achieve your perfect life if your perception contradicts it. Very simple. I appreciate everybody being on the winner circle call here. Start taking note on what your goals are, where you're trying to get, and how you perceive different things out there in the world. I don't know who on here watches the news. Hopefully nobody, uh, not very often if, if any, but you know, start, start keeping in mind and being aware of how you perceive different things. I don't want to keep going too long on this. I could keep rambling. Um, but the idea of this was to have a nice, short, sweet, to-the-point call here. So I appreciate you being on the winner Circle call.